Come winters, and all of us like to wrap ourselves with those colorful woolens, and as the temperature dips further, we realize that another layer of sweaters is needed to beat the chill. Same is the case with blankets. As the winters reach their peak, even the warmest of blankets is unable to give us the warmth. In such a case, even a thinner sheet of cotton above the blanket does wonders. So what exactly is the reason? Let's try to find out. Based on their ability to conduct heat through them, materials can be classified as good conductors or bad conductors of heat. Substances like graphite, stone and copper allow heat to pass through them easily. Hence they are called good conductors of heat, also known as thermal conductors. On the other hand, items like wood, glass, oil and air do not allow heat to pass through them easily. They are known as poor or bad conductors of heat, also known as thermal insulators. So let's get back to what happens when we wear too thin woolen sweaters, or cover ourselves with too thin blankets instead of a thick one. In this case, some air gets trapped in the gap between the two layers of clothing. As we have just learnt, air is a poor conductor of heat and this layer of air molecules between the sweaters or blankets acts as a thermal insulator, thus preventing the body heat from escaping into the surroundings. While wearing a single thick sweater, there is no such mechanism at work, allowing body heat to escape the environment freely. A thick sweater can warm you up initially, but later on when the air passes through it, you will start feeling cold again. Hence, too thin woolen sweaters or too thin blankets do a better job of retaining the body heat and are therefore recommended over a single layer. Thank you for watching. For more exciting science and STEM content, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website www.experihub.com.